Captain Marvel. I don't know if you want to pull it up so people can see uh, Natalie Portman. Did you see the Natalie Portman's training for uh, Thor: Love and Thunder? I, so I knew that she was training. I didn't see that there was actually a thing. So let me find this. I was a personal trainer. Like you need to check out this gun show. She's no longer Padme. Uh, Thor workout. Oh, so they're literally one of the top searches when you search Natalie Portman Thor is four muscles. Thor. Four. You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Okay, well, I just heard a buzzing sound. That's oh, right. no. Oh, that may be the fan for my computer. Uh, where oh, okay. where was it, like, shown on? Like. Um, oh, wait. Hold up. It's just her in a, her, it looks like a maroon shirt. Yeah, I, I found it. Hold on. Okay. It was, these people, while uh, Marvel films are, like, on decks and hotel room balconies with zoom lenses trying to get pictures of anything they can. So do you think they have her on, like, the Marvel steroid regimen? Nope. Really? How dare you? I, mean, how? I think she just dedicated some time, hit the gym, and Padme Amidala no more. She's ta she's gonna be the new Thor. Yeah. That's what this movie is doing. Yeah, I, I understand that, but I, I, I seriously do, like... How old is she? I don't know, Marco. Well, we're searching that. Because I think she's in her 40s. Oh, no, she's 39. Yeah, I, I guess it's a bit more probable. And she's probably somebody that takes care of her body anyways. So, if you want to say, do people take this stuff seriously? Thor, number four. Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman. I, I don't, Let's do it. Honestly, I just think it's the way she's posing. I, I don't think she's, like, any bigger, really. You're crazy. Um, who plays Tony Stark's love interest in the Iron Man movies? Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Pepper Potts. Yeah, she made a statement this week that she wouldn't mind returning to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh man, is she bringing her candles with it? I don't know. Will it be a cheap shot? But I, since there's no more Iron Man... I'd be okay if they brought her in as Rescue, because she did get her own Iron Man suit. Yeah, yeah. And in the comic, she is a superhero called Rescue. Yeah. So I think that's an interesting way for her to carry on the story post-Iron Man. Yeah. But I know for a while she was pretty far out of it. She wasn't interested. That's why they had to pay her a lot of money to do that Spider-Man cameo. I, I honestly think she just wasn't interested because... Other than Thor 3, she didn't really do too much in the movies. She was always just, like, kind of pushed aside, really. Right. I don't blame her for not being. But if she was given, like, a main role and stuff, that'd be interesting. For sure. But we're getting into, like, really interesting territory. How many movies have a fourth movie in the franchise? Uh, Star Wars. Right, they have, that's what they I'm saying. They have two fourth movies in the franchise. Well, you gotta think Avengers has four movies now, too. Yeah. So this Thor character, I don't know how they're gonna do Thor 4, if they're gonna let him stay on. There's rumors that Thor joins the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. And Natalie Portman takes over the Thor movies. So, as long as Chris Hemsworth is game to keep doing these movies. Yeah, as long as they keep pumping him steroids. Nope. He'll keep... What, you don't think... Lean, lean protein. Yeah, yeah, okay. Also, he's Australian. Their DNA, you can't even... You don't even know what that DNA is like, Marco. No, I don't. They have snakes that could kill you. Everywhere. It's the Wild West. Uh, I thought you were going to say some snake oil joke. No, not at all. Since you keep bringing up Star Wars, if you want to type in... Um, 